Hi guys, we're ready to do math on Wednesday, March 18th. You should have all of these math papers in the packet you came and picked up, and we're just going to do them. If you keep them in the order that they were, we're just going to do them in the order that they are stacked. So if you pull this first page, it actually looks a lot like what you did with Mrs. Larson. So I'm going to go over and we're going to talk about this page. So today we're looking at partner numbers. And so it tells us right here that there are a total of three dots. And then they've done the equal sign. And then they want to show that one dot is blue and two dots are white. So they've written one plus two. So we're going to look at this next one. They want us on this page to write the number it equals first. So I'm going to write the three. And do you guys all see how it's got these little lines throughout? It's telling you that this whole area is threes. This whole area is fours, fives, six, and ten. So we don't have to count the total. We can just look at what section it is. But now I'm going to look and see how many dots are blue. And I see that two dots are blue, so I'm going to write a two, and then I'm going to put a plus sign and I'm going to see how many dots are white. I see that one is white, so I'm going to put a one right there. Let's look over at this fours, for example. So again, I know it's a four because that's the first number in the section, so I'm going to write four equals, and I'm looking at how many dots are yellow, and so I see that two dots are yellow, and then two of the dots are white. So I'm going to write 2 plus 2. If you want to go ahead, and I would like you to do the last one in the 4 group, will you pick 2 in the 5, 2 in the 6, and then as a challenge, can you see if you can do all of the 10s? If you're having a hard time, it's okay. Have your parents take a picture and send it to me, and I'll see if we can help you at some point get it done. All right, after you get this side done, you can pause this video until this side is done, and then I'm going to talk about the other side. So, on the other side, we have subtraction problems. So, that's where we are going to take away. Now, if you look, they start with this number 9 right there. 9 is a pretty big number to draw circles. So I would recommend for this one that if you need something to help you solve it, you don't just know what 9 minus 1 is, that you go ahead and use your fingers or pull out some crayons or something that you have at least 10 of. And then you can use those crayons and put away however many it tells you, and that will give you the answer. So for this first one, let me see if I can come over there. I'm just going to put nine fingers up. And I can put nine fingers up easily because I know that one finger less than ten is nine. So there's my nine fingers up, and I see it's nine minus one. So I'm going to put my pinky down, and I'm going to see I've got this whole hand up, so I don't need to count these fingers. It's five. So I'm just going to count the fingers on my other hand going up from 5. So I'm going to say 5, 6, 7, 8. And I'm going to write the number 8 in here. Go ahead and just do the first column, unless you would like to do more of the worksheet. And then um, let's look down at the bottom together, because we need our friend, Puzzle Penguin. Try so hard in math, but he needs your help. So let's look at the puzzled penguin part. He has 6 equals 4 minus 2. Well, if I put 4 fingers up and I minus 2, do I get 6? What do you think puzzled penguin did? He subtracted instead of adding. So let's fix it. We get to just fix our, his problem by putting a plus sign right there. 
you want to make that other line a little bigger. And then we're going to rewrite it on the line. And here's the problem he was working with. We can see the four dots and the two dots, and it totals six. So I'm just going to write on the line six equals four plus two. Now, if you want a challenge, down here it says, can you come up with two partner numbers of 10? So you're going to write on the line two numbers that will equal 10. If you want to take a picture and have your parents send it to me, that's great. Otherwise, I will look forward to seeing it when we come back.